About 50-70% to of business improvement efforts fail, according to many studies. Yet, I've discovered an approach that is delivering a 70% success rate on my improvement work. In this video, I'll share one piece of the puzzle that has helped make this success possible. Hi there, Mats Wienström here, Shaper of Business Excellence. In this video, let us then take the business idea that I talked about in the previous video and break that down and talk about the vision. The vision is something that will give us a feeling of where we're heading. The business idea, as I described earlier in the, or in the previous video, gives us what we do, what value we create and for whom we're doing it. The vision tells us how much should we do of this within a certain period. And we're not stating in the vision a certain period, saying that it's five years or it's six years or it's July 2018 or 19 or whatever. We say within a scope of time between three to five years, maybe, or five to eight years, maybe. It depends on what business we're working in. A fast-paced business have a shorter uh, term for the vision. If you don't have a vision, which I see a lot of organizations don't, they don't really know what they're aiming for. And that is that you get a little bit of fussiness, confusion within the business. People don't know in really what direction they should go. The business idea, if they have that, that gives them some guidance. But they need a vision so they can aim for it. Because the business idea is more saying in what broad path we're going, not how far we should go in this certain amount of time. So if you don't have the vision, again, you will have this fussiness and you will have this, this confusion within the organization because people are then just doing day-to-day -day stuff. So it will be a little bit, yeah, I do this and I do that and yeah, then I go home and I come back tomorrow and I do a little bit more about this and a little bit more about that. But if you have a vision, then people will feel that they're a part of a movement going forward. They can see this path that they're walking on and they will see where they're heading. A vision is like a shining beacon in the night. If you're out at sea and you can see then the light of the beacon out there, then you know you can see on your C chart that you're heading in the right direction. And it's the same within a business. You can see this vision over here and you can, oh, that's where we're moving. What do you need to do? You need to, first of all, read through the business idea that you worked with. As a result, I hoped from the last video that I talked about the business idea. So you look at the business idea, you interpret it, and you say, how far can we reach within a certain amount of time? And then you write the vision down. And when you write the vision, it should be something that feels good reading. You can write a vision that is short, to the spot, telling us where we're heading. Or you can write a longer version of the vision that when you read it, you feel good as well, but you don't remember all the words. You more re uh, remember the feeling that you have when you read the vision. So one is that you do a short, catchy one that everyone can say, what's our vision? It is blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> or what's our vision? It is, and then you have a longer text, but when people read this through, they have this emotion within them that tells them that hmm, we are on the right track. We are heading towards this beautiful future that I want to be a part of. And also, when you're working with the vision, creating the vision, 
don't do this as a management team sitting in a corner office somewhere and you come up with a great vision that you hope is going to be a good one for the business. No, work with the team. They need to be a part of this. The more you can involve the team in creating the vision, the more you're sure that they're they want to be a part of the journey that takes you towards this nice future over there that they're aiming for. Because they've all been a part of creating that vision. So don't forget that. It's very, very important. So about your business, what do you think is, is do you have a vision at all? Or are you about to create a vision? Or, and if you have a vision, is that a fussy one or does it feel good reading it? Is it clear and giving you that emotion that you want to have in order to work towards that vision? Um, please leave a comment down below because I'm excited to know how you're doing in your business. And um, also, if you like to have a copy, a downloadable copy of this poster, where you can follow along and you can also then read more about all the connection between these different business components. Then click the link below and it will take you to a page where you will, uh, for free, be able to download this poster and you can take a closer look to all the things that I will talk about in this video series. And with that said, um, let's go and shape our business for excellence.